Hello everyone, my name is Utkarsh and I am a housekeeping faculty. Today we will gonna talk about a topic on public area cleaning. The objective of this particular presentation is in this presentation we will discuss about the cleaning of different types of public areas in a hotel industry. For example entrance. The guest gets its first impression of the hotel from the entrance lobby. Therefore, some hotels may have elaborate or dramatic design features at the entrance lobby. The entrances, if not cleaned and maintained daily, can easily acquire the neglected look due to the heavy traffic and exposure, which can be very unappealing for an arriving guest. Cleaning of the entrance should be done on a daily basis. The entrance mats should be vacuum cleaned in daily basis to remove the dust and grits. The glass doors should be cleaned twice a day and where public traffic is high, the frequency of the cleaning may go up to four times a day. In terms of the solution may also be used for glass that is not too sealed. Lobbies. These are areas provided as a common meeting point for guests near the reception for the guest near the reception. Many lobbies are carpeted while other have hard floorings and cleaning process for the two kinds of flooring will be different. Like entrance, entrances, these are also high traffic areas so the floor of lobbies should be cleaned frequently since there are the these are the areas in guests interact, relax and checks in. The lobby may have high ceiling, elaborate chandeliers and other faci facilities and features which are difficult to clean. So in many hotels these kind of features is cleaned and maintained by contractors. Lobby cleanings are done on the daily basis in the hotel. The daily cleaning of the lobbies are ashtray, sand urns and Waste paper basket should be emptied and damped, dusted if required as of twice or thrice in a day. Flower arrangement should be attended to daily and indoor plants watered as required. Glass surface and windows should be cleaned with proprietary glass cleaners daily. Doors, door handles and knobs should be damped, dusted daily. If the fixtures are made of liquid brass, they need not to be polished. Damp dusting should be su suffice. A mode through cleaning the door, including their tracks, should also be carried out once a day. Carpeted area should be sanctioned or suctioned clean daily to remove dust and grit. Any stain on the carpet or upholstery should be removed immediately. Hard floor must be mopped or vacuumed on a daily basis. Furniture should be damp dusted and occasional tables should be cleaned frequently during the daytime. Now, how we can have the periodic cleanings of the lobby, let's have a look over it. High level dusting to clean ceilings and other high or hard to reach areas such as tops of the fans and corners should be done once in a week. Very high ceiling may be dusted once in a month. Elaborate chandeliers may be brought down and cleaned once in six months. Wooden furniture should be polished once in a week. Upholstered furniture should be suc suctioned, cleared with an upholstery attachments once in a week. Blinds and curtains should be suctioned, cleaned once in a week. The carpet should be shampooed once in a month, but in case of heavy traffic or heavy soiling, the cleaning frequency could be once in a week or as per the hotel policy. Cleaning of the front, front desk are as follows. Empty the waste paper basket as and when required in the day. Damp does the desk taking care of to wipe under the telephone wires and computer cables. The front panel of the desk should be damp dusted and a neutral detergent should be used to remove scuff marks from the guest's shoes. All the railing and fixtures should be damp dusted if made of brass. They should be polished accordingly as per schedule. Suction clean the carpet under the desk. If the door is uncarpeted, mop the hard floor very strongly. Damp dusting of the telephone should be done in daily basis. Damp dust the computer components and fax machine and then with a dry duster. 
make sure while cleaning the computer component computer must be switched off now let's talk about the elevators these must be clean at night time when they are least used they should always be taken out of services for cleaning they must display signboard of cleaning is carried out damp wipe the steel doors inside and outside using a neutral detergent solution and then wipe clean using water and then dry using the clean duster damp dust the inside wall panel door panels and control panels a neutral detergent may be used for the purpose and the residue removed with the duster damped with the clean water suction clean the floor of the elevator if carpeted else mop the hard floor of the elevator suction clean the door track on to the floor using a creative cleaner attachment on the vacuum cleaner lightly damp dust the ceiling and light fixtures these may be thoroughly cleaned periodically clean any air conditioning or ventilation using the suction cleaner now the most oftenly used areas in the public area are the staircases the appropriate way of cleaning staircases are is to divide them into half length ways and clean one half way at a time this is not only to prevent dirty footsteps to the wet floor but also take safety precautions so that no accident take place due to slipping of the guest on the wet surfaces the various tasks are done in different periodic cities weekly monthly or less often the damp does the skirting weekly carpets should be suction clean daily and stain should be attend immediate for this type of cleaning the backpack vacuum cleaners are the best for the suction cleaning hard floor staircases should be suctioned on a daily basis damp dust the banisters and hard rail daily the guest corridors are one of the most heavily trafficked area in the hotel industry the guest corridors should be divided into section for cleanings many hotel corridors are fully carpeted these carpets should not only look attractive but also be sturdy and durable to withstand the everyday wear and tear carpet should be vacuum cleaned daily and shampooed once in a 6 months the wall skirting and baseboards all along the corridor should be cleaned the air conditioning vents should be cleaned any finger marks on the wall should be spot cleaned installed fire extinguisher should be dusted daily and fire bucket should be also dusted and refilled with fresh sand the public area restrooms damp mop the floor of the restroom twice a day the weekly cleaning of wcs involves alkaline detergent and in case of heavy soiled and stained wcs with a lime scale problem acid cleaners need to be used cleaning of vanity mirror is carried out during the night time acid cleaner may require frequent intraurinal cleanings cabinet should also be cleaned once in a week hair dryers should be checked and cleaned properly the banquet halls sweep and mop the floor before event if the area is carpeted vacuum cleaner should be used the damp dust or suction clean the furniture Lighting fixtures should be cleaned or checked weekly and chandeliers should be brought down to clean in every 6 months. Flower arrangement, mineral water, glasses and other specific requirements such as pencil note pads should be provided and arranged neatly in places. The wall should only need to be spot cleaned in case of stain but wall should be washed periodically. the dining rooms of the hotel all furniture should be damp wiped damp mopping of the floor is carried out water in floral vases should be changed vacuum the carpet area wipe the glass surfaces with proper glass cleaners spot cleaning of wall should be done There are certain equipments which is been used in the public area cleaning for example the scrubbing machine the box sweepers the polishing machine the vacuum cleaning machines and the vacuum cleaners there are other certain 
electronic devices or the equipments you can see on the screen right now. Now let's have a look on a video attached in which I have tried to show the public area cleaning in detail. Welcome to Vadhwani Foundation's Housekeeping Procedures Training. In this video, we learn about cleaning of different public areas. Public areas in a hotel need to be frequently cleaned in order to promote a positive image of the property to the guests. Different public areas in a hotel are Office areas Elevators Public restrooms Food and beverage outlets Lobby Let's have a look at the procedure for these different public areas. Office areas Dust the furniture, electrical appliances, etc. daily. Spot clean mirrors and glasses weekly or as soon as any dirt appears. Vacuum floors and carpets on a daily basis. Deep clean floors, shampoo sofas etc. once a month. Public restrooms Clean public area restrooms daily. Check if a guest is using the restroom and enter. Wear designated gloves. Flush all toilets and urinals and empty urinal strainers. Clean toilet bowls and seats. Check all dispensers, open and refill them if required. Clean all fixtures including mirrors, pipes, faucets, basins, vanity counters and dispensers using an appropriate cleaner. Damp wipe the baseboard with appropriate cleaner. Food and beverage outlets. Dust wooden furniture using chemically treated cloth. Clean doors and service doors if applicable. Clean the entire outlet flooring according to the floor type. Clean window glasses regularly. Clean AC grills and chandeliers weekly. Clean patio areas daily if applicable. Lobby Dust lamps and lamp shades, chandeliers if applicable. Damp dust furniture, window sills and other surfaces. Polish the furniture if applicable. Brush and clean all upholstery. Spot clean windows and glass doors. Clean and wipe telephones. Clean floors and carpets. Spray buff the floors when required. Check all flower arrangements. Check the newspaper stands and arrange them at regular intervals. Elevators. Clean walls, ceilings, light fixtures, doors and control panel with appropriate equipment. 
dry and wet dust them for cleaner surfaces. Spot clean the glasses and mirrors. Mop the elevator floors with appropriate equipment. 